Richard was very excited. The new place looked completely off the hook. He couldn't wait to find out all about it. He got on the blower and sent for his two best watchers, Amy and Stephen. Amy and Stephen had been best friends forever. They couldn't remember a time when they hadn't been best friends. Richard, 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 Richard said to go and visit the new place and to remember everything they watched. Watching is good, said Amy and Stephen. They couldn't wait. Remember said Richard, watching means being careful. So never forget to watch each other as well. Amy and Stephen got in the spaceship and went to live in the new place until Richard said they had done enough watching. It was a big job. There were so many things to watch in the new place. There were big things. There were small things. There were things that were in the air. There were things that were in the ground. Every night Amy and Stephen would come home and share what they had watched with each other. They were very happy. One day, when Stephen was out watching he saw something that he had never watched before. It was something that looked like his friend Amy did. Stephen was very confused. Stephen thought his friend Amy was the only thing that looked like Amy did. When they were sharing what they had watched that evening Stephen decided not to tell Amy about the new thing that looked like Amy. He was worried it might make Amy sad. Stephen knew Amy couldn't tell he wasn't sharing what he had watched. But Amy could tell. The next day Amy couldn't concentrate on watching. She was sad because she knew Stephen wasn't sharing something. Amy forgot to watch carefully and she accidentally bumped into a big scary monster that hurt her very badly. She ran away and never came back. Stephen was sad that Amy had gone. He had to find another Amy so he found the thing that looked like Amy. The new Amy was just as nice as the old Amy. But secretly Stephen hated it for being the thing that made him lose his best friend. He thought it was the new Amy's fault. But it wasn't. It was nobody's fault. It just happened.